In this video, we'll discuss the chain rule and how it's used to take the derivative of composite functions. So composed or composite functions are what you get when you take one function and substitute it as the input to another function. So f circle g of x, or f of g of x, or f composed with g of x, are all different ways to say the same thing. g of x is what we sometimes call the inside function, because it's inside the f parentheses, and it gets used as the input to the function f. Just as an example of what this might look like, if f of x is 3x squared and g of x is 5x minus 7, then f composed with g of x is what we get when we substitute 5x minus 7 in for the x in the f formula. I'll use some color here to help illustrate it. So g of x is again what we sometimes call the inner function or the inside function. And so this is what we get when we do that. Okay, so how do we take a derivative of such a function? So if y is f of g of x, then y prime is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So we take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function alone, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Let's look at an example. So the first step is that we want to identify the inside and outside functions. In this case, it's relatively straightforward to see that 4x cubed minus 6x is the inside function, and the outside function is the square root function. So remember that when we take the chain rule, we're going to need to find the derivative of that outside function. So the square root of x can be written as x to the 1 half, and the derivative of x to the 1 half is 1 half x to the minus 1 half. So here's what our derivative looks like. Remember that the derivative of our outside function was 1 half x to the minus 1 half. But we want to take that derivative and substitute in the original function. So it's not 1 half x to the minus 1 half. It's 1 half my original function to the minus 1 half. And then we multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. OK, let's try another example. Our first step is to identify the inside and outside functions. This time the inside function is 10x to the fourth minus 5x cubed. For the outside function, it's sometimes useful to rewrite it using a different variable. In this case I've chosen the letter u, but you can really use whatever letter you want. The reason here is that it can be confusing when we have x's in multiple places. So rather than thinking of the outside function as being x to the sixth, I'm just going to think of it as u to the sixth, just so I don't get my x's mixed up. So the derivative of that u to the 6th is 6u to the 5th. And now we just need to substitute in for our chain rule. So we take that derivative of the outside function, 6u to the 5th, and we substitute in our inside function for the u. So it's 6 times 10x to the 4th minus 5x cubed to the 5th. And then we multiply by the derivative of that inside function. 